I'm hurt. My heart has been really ripped out of my body. I don't, I don't want to eat. I don't want to sleep. All I do is cry because he was my everything. A Little Rock family praying for answers and justice after someone shot and killed their loved one two months ago. Police found 43-year-old Wiley Carr's body on West 29th near Van Buren Street. Thanks for joining us tonight at 5. I'm Ashley Katz. Well, good evening. I'm Bob Clausen. Officers say the gunshot that killed Carr was picked up by the department's shot spotter technology. The family celebrating Carr's 44th birthday last week but say it's still hard to believe that he's gone. Carr's ex-wife speaking exclusively to KRK4 is Rochelle Turner. It's so hard. It's so hard. It's hard for Courtney Coleman to think about her ex-husband, Wiley Carr. He was my everything. I loved that man for almost 30 years. The 43-year-old was shot and killed back in January, a painful night Coleman can't forget. And I was like, Lord, please, I know you're a miracle worker. I know you're a way maker. Lord, if he shot, if something wrong with him, Lord, just breathe breath back into his body. Little Rock police say shot spotter technology called officers to West 29th Street where Carr's body was lying in the road. They just left him there like he was trash, like a dog. With no leads or suspects in the case, Coleman says she went to the neighborhood herself. One guy even said he literally heard him running. They was chasing him. He heard him out there screaming. Hollering, but nobody called 911, and that hurts the most. With pain in her heart, the mother says she believes Carr was set up. Somebody tricked him into going in that area because he wouldn't even be there. Photos are all that's left for the family as they try to move forward. Somebody knows something, and we just ask that somebody come forward. Carl leaves behind two daughters and several grandkids. Coleman says that he was a good man. After he was released from prison, he worked to curb violence in the capital city by volunteering and being a part of a number of city programs. If you know anything about this case, anything at all, give Little Rock Police a call.